Hey, shalom, 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 Israel. This is your boy, Araya Banyasha Allah. Hey, check this out, family. What I wanted to say is this, you know. Um, I've been in the truth about, I've been in this truth as being a Hebrew Israelite for about eight years now, you know. And um, I've realized, I mean, I'm, I always wanted to make these videos, but uh, the most I never really prompted, prompted my spirit to say, go ahead and, you know what I mean, make no make the videos, though. Reason being, I feel like I don't know if I was that ready as yet. You know what I mean? I don't think I was that ready. You know, I had plenty of knowledge of, 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 of what I was teaching. I would go on the streets every Sabbath day, every Saturday, and uh, bring out this bring out this word, right? But um, the most I the most I just wasn't ready for me as yet to say, go ahead, bro, and make these videos. Hopefully, people watch them and 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 and, and they are uh, they they, they it, it be edifying unto them, okay? But according to this knowledge, right? According to this knowledge, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna just go into something right quick because it's very important to show you all this, man. I want y'all to know first of all. I, I have, I'm just gonna show you some proof that that our people, the Negroes, that are scattered to the four corners of the earth, are the chosen people of God. We have a specific DNA marker. If, if y'all guys study DNA, Y chromosome, X chromosome, the Y chromosome is the most important because it's come down from father to son, father to son. Unchanged over generations and generations upon generations. Therefore, every race of people on this earth should have their own specific DNA marker. Okay? But um, as a Negro, as a Bantu from Africa, I'm, I live in the Bahamas, like I said, but, um, you know, we was taken on slave boats to the four corners of the earth, scattered to the four corners of the earth. So we are the children of Israel, all right, like the Bible says, we are scattered to the four corners of the earth. But the proof is this, it's in our blood, you know, and these people know what's going on. Let's look at this. Like I said, I believe that we are the people 100% wholeheartedly, and I have the proof of it right here. EP2, let's read this. EP2, also known as E1B1, is a human Y chromosome DNA haplogroup. This paternal clade had an ancient presence in the Middle East. Now, our DNA as Negroes is E1B1A. Okay, E1B1 is the father of two children. E1B1A, like I said, that's Jacob, and E1B1B, that is Esau. Okay? Now, E1B1 is Isaac himself. Isaac had a father by the name of Abraham, and Abraham carried DNA EM96. That's so important, man. My gracious. Okay, let's look at here. Let's finish reading. This paternal clay had an ancient present in the Middle East. Okay, we know that. We know that, um... Isaac, Abraham, I mean, um, what you, what's his name? Jacob, and Esau had a presence in the Middle East. All right? So the descendants, they're saying, E1B1, his descendants had a presence in the Middle East, ancient present. In other words, our ancestors, because as black people, our DNA is E1B1A. Okay? So they straight up letting you know who you are. We had an ancient present in the Middle East, right? And it is now primarily distributed in Africa where it is believed to have originated. Now, they know our DNA don't originate in no Africa. They know that our DNA is, is, is from the Middle East, okay? But they want you to believe that you're African, you see? Or you're a Hamite or something. So they'll let you know. They'll say this DNA probably originated in the Middle East. Believed to have. I mean, uh, in Africa. But it, listen to what they say, believed to have. These people make me laugh. With lower frequencies in the Middle East and Europe. Possible time of origin, 41,000. That's bull crap. These people make up any time just to, just to confuse you, Israelites. I'm going to tell you that. Ancestor. Let's, let's go here where it says descendant. Descendant is EV38, right? EV38, let me scroll on down here, right here. You see that? E1B1A. That's us, okay? That's Israel. Let me read from right here where it says EM2 is the predominant subclade in Western Africa, Central Africa, Southern Africa, and the region of the Great Lakes, and occurs at moderate frequencies in North Africa and Middle East. Now, EM2 was us. EM2 was another name for E1B1A. Okay, that's, that's how they put it in their DNA system, I guess. So let me scroll on down here. E1B1A had an ancestor. We see right here, EP2. Now, like I said, EP2 is Isaac. Isaac had descendants, which is, EP2 was the ancestor of E1B1A, and Isaac had descendants of both E1B1A and E1B1B, and I'll prove that, watch this, um, descendant EM2, that's us, and EM329, also us, that DNA there you can find, that's all of them is E1B1A, okay, remember that, E1B1A, 
falls on the EM2 and EM right here. Let me just highlight it so you can see. But oh, I can't highlight it. Anyway, I won't mess up my video. I guess I this my first time making a video to put on YouTube, so I honestly don't know what I'm really doing. You know, but I'm trying to bring out the, the knowledge as fast as possible. So you guys can understand, man. I talk fast. I apologize. So watch this, right? When we scroll on down here, right? Actually, now we acknowledge that uh, E1B1A is found mainly in West Africa, Central Africa. Boom, boom, boom. When we open EM2, let's open EM2, which is E1B1A. Same people. It says the same thing here. Western Africa, Central Africa, South Africa, Great Lakes. African Great Lakes, North Africa. Say moderate frequency in North Africa. Because North Africa mainly has E1B1B. Now those... That's such as countries like Morocco, those countries such as Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, um, 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 and the list goes on. All of those North African countries, majority of them are Edomites, E1B1B. They are the Moors that help uh, ensla enslave us during the transatlantic slave trade and those that enslaved us in the sub-Saharan slave trade. Most people think they're Arabs or the Ishmaelites or something like that. Uh, people, you got to understand by DNA. DNA will teach you exactly who these people are on this earth, okay? Just by you acknowledging the, the closeness of, of relativeness or, or the closeness of your, your, your relative. So if you know Jacob or Abraham had a brother by the name of Haran, Haran carry a DNA of Y chromosome D. I probably have to do it in another video. I don't wanna so much different so much different things on my head and I wanna bring everything at once, but that will work. EM2 has several subclade, but many of these sub groups are included in either EL four eighty five or EU one seventy five. Listen to what I'm trying to say. They are saying that EM2, okay, which is EM E one B one eight, has has many different actually it has twelve different subgroups. All right, you will go in depth and, and, and I'll, I'll have to go in depth and prove that. All right, because um, this, this Wikipedia site don't actually have it on there. We'll have to go into different scholars proving that, that there are 12 tribes that come up on the e, E1B1A or EM2. Okay, there are 12 tribes. That's how you know it's our people. So let's just go on down. Let's finish reading here. It says, but like I said, are included in either EL4485 or... EU-175, the reason I say the majority of the people under E1B1A falls under those two haplo groups is because they are the majority of the people among our people in Israel. When you see the prophecy in the Bible, God said that he will multiply the seed of David and, and the seed of the Levites. So they will, you will realize that they will have more, this is boy crying for this thing, here, have it. You will realize that they will have more people in their tribe than any other tribes. So the, the Levites and the Judites or the majority people within the tribe of Israel or the nation of Israel. So it says this DNA also. What does it say? EM2 was especially common in native African-speaking Niger Congo languages, and was spread to southern and eastern Africa through the Bantu expansion. Bantu expansion. That's how we know we are the Bantus. I I, I see in a lot of videos that brothers are saying this, but people seem like they can't can't accept it. Especially a lot of Israelites. You know what I mean? That that that, that hurt me, man. And that's why I don't go into camps anymore. Because people making heathens are people, I, and I ain't down with that. I ain't like, all right, I, I love my people, and I'm a stick with my Negroes. Yeah, I'm a Negro only, if you want to call it like that. But at the end of the day, DNA proves it all. You know, your Y chromosome DNA from your father will prove who you are. If you don't carry E1B1A as a DNA, I'm not, not saying everybody go check, check their DNA now. This is something that is just a broad, broad understanding that most that Negro people we descended from people who are DNA E1B1A okay so the Bantus or our people Niger Congo or our people such as Nigeria Ghana you see what I'm saying uh, and the list goes on in West Africa and also Sub-Saharan Africa now here we are here EM2 watch this right what I'm gonna do is just go back just for, just for you to understand what's going on EM2 right let's just go back very quick the father of E EM2 or E1B1A is EP2. Okay, EV38 is just another name for EM2, okay, just so you understand. That was, that's, that's still Jacob. But right next to it here, we get Esau. Where you see descendants and you got EV38, Jacob, and EM215, which is Esau. EM215, also known as E1B1B, and formerly E3B. That's gonna get mixed up with all that. Let's scroll on down. You can read it if you like. See, EM96 is the father, is our father, Abraham. You see what I'm saying? EM96 is our grandfather, Abraham, actually. All right, Isaac is our father, E1B1, 
E1, B1, boom. So what we see here is that the ancestor of Esau, E1, B1, B, is... It's right there. The ancestor is EP2, E1, B1. I know y'all... Bang, there you go. Descendants is those. That's their lineage and those DNA scattered around Earth. This EM335 and EM281, a lot of them... A lot of, see, Esau children were originally black. You see what I'm saying? But these people mixed up with so many... Man, that's just history. I ain't really want to make this a history um, topic today. But, you know, Esau mixed with so much different race. Especially when he went as the Moors. They were Moors. They were the Moors. They were Edomites. That went into Italy and slept with those Italian women. And when, when the Moors got kicked out, okay, from um, the Christians, along with the Jews, all majority of the Moors went back to their original land. I mean, not original, but their land where they was before, which is North Africa. You see what I'm saying? And that's why you get so much light-skinned North African people. They, they call themselves Africans and what's not. You know, they are our brothers. You see what I'm saying? But we look more Negro than them in the sub-Sahara part of Africa, West Africa, and East Africa, Central Africa. And they, because we didn't mix with no light-skinned people. Our people normally don't mix with nobody like that. That's why they say we don't have no Neanderthal DNA. You see what I'm saying? Esau didn't have any either until he went up in Europe and started sleeping with these people and then get kicked out. And now his children carry his Y chromosome, E1B1B. And, 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 and their maternal lineage is majority uh, um, Spaniard woman or Italian woman. Roman, Roman people. Let's just go back now. What we're going to do is this. Isaac DNA, EP2. Let's scroll on down and let's see where the distribution of this DNA is and where it was, where it, it had an ancient present. It did say in the Middle East. Okay, so we know our father came from the Middle East. Okay, bang. Natufian. Distribution Natufian. Actually, let's go back. Sorry about that. I'm rushing too much. I really wanted to bring this out. I feel like it's going too fast. Sorry about that. Let me just slow down a bit. Natufian fossils that were analyzed for ancient DNA were found to carry the paternal haplogroup E1B1. Meaning, Isaac is one man now, but he had, he had sons. See, when God did this, God was creating nations of people. That's why you ain't gonna find nobody on this earth right now carrying the DNA E1B1. No, you either carry E1B1A, you Jacob, or you carry E1B1B, okay? Natufian fossils, meaning their skeleton bones, we're gonna see who these Natufian people is right now that were analyzed for ancient DNA were found to carry the haplogroup, the paternal haplogroup, E1B1. E1B1 has two DNA, two, two sons, E1B1A and E1B1B. Okay, then it's with an extra L on it, you know, E, I say L1, I mean, but E1B1A and E1B1B. Now let's see where these people, so there are two fiends, carry those DNA. Let's see who these Natufian people is. Let me just get to the point. Go on down. It says here the Natufian culture is a late epiolithic archaeological culture that existed from around yeah, 12,000, 9,000 BC. Yeah, right. These people say anything that's confuse you. Or bang bang, in the where? The Levant. Levant is the Middle East, predominantly and mainly that's Israel. Hey little boy, give me this thing on your uh -uh. You gotta stop it now. So the Levant is Israel, okay? The culture was unusual in that it supported a sedentary or, or semi-sedentary population even before the introduction of agriculture. So what they're saying is that before the, 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 um, the introduction of ag agriculture, we, we supported or we had a sedentary culture. Sedentary is meaning that we're not a type of people that's nomadic. Nomadic meaning that we don't move back and forth. And, 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 and live like that. You see what I'm saying? We are people that we settle in one area and we be there for a long time. So these Natufian people, we will, we will settle in, in the Levant. So they call these people Natufian instead of just calling their, their name that they are. This is simply because they are trying their best to hide this information and they can't put out too much. You know in order to tell a lie or a good lie or make a lie sound, sound good or true, you have to put some sort of truth in it. You see what I'm saying? So what we doing already is eating the meat, spitting out the bones. So yeah, we did have a sanitary culture because um, we was a people that we, we were settled in Israel for a very long time. So let's get this here. The Natufian communities may be the ancestors of the builders of the first Neolithic settlement of the region, which may have been the earliest in the world. Wow. You see that? In the world. Say, <laughs> the Natufian communities may be the ancestors of the builders Oh, I'm sorry, I just read that. Natufian founded a settlement where Jericho is today. So this people who carry DNA E1B1A and E1B1B 
They're saying that we lived in Jericho. Okay, Jericho is an Israel, guys. All right, that's just proving you who we are. Our culture say we, we cultivated cereal, rye, and um, by the Natufian culture at Tel Abu. Not, not in, that's in Israel again. Scroll on down, just for you to see. I mean, let's just common sense right here. Let me just go right here and say, in addition. In addition, the oldest known evidence of Bayer dating to approximately 13,000 BP before present was found at the Rocket Cave in Mount Carmel near Haifa in Israel. All right, guys. <laughs> so that's showing you that our people are from Israel. Our DNA. We are the ancient DNA. We are the first people in the land, they say. I mean, not the first people. But when you go into depth, anyhow, it'll let you know that they found other DNA there. Um, but they, these people wasn't, a, wasn't as much as us in abundance, I guess. These people, I'm going to tell you who they are. They are the Canaanites. Those Canaanites in Africa right now, they're carrying the DNA of e, um, actually A. A and B. The Pygmies are the original Canaanites. And they, are, they carry the DNA, like I said, Y chromosome B. Okay. Hamites, Hamites live in Africa. We ain't no Hamites. We are the Shemitic people from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, the Hamites are... People such as the Nilotic people, just type it in, Nilotic, N-I-L-O-T-I-C, the Nilotic people, as you can see, those people look nothing like us, they don't even carry a culture like us. You have also the Pygmy people, look nothing like us, don't carry no culture like us. Pygmy people, you know, they all around, they're in, in West, and mainly in Central Africa. Uh, then you got the um, San, or the Khoi San people, the Khoi Khoi, then um, they are located predominantly in South Africa, okay? Among our people, the Zulus and the Kosa, see the Kosa, they are Bantu Hebrew Israelite tribe also, but they are, they actually mixed, the men of, the, of that nation mixed with the Khoisan people, that's why you have so much Kosa people look a bit Khoisan, darker skinned than the Khoisan, but they look Khoisan. All it is, all of those people I was telling you, you know, um, the, the Khoisan, Pygmy, the Nilotic, the Kushites, you see what I'm saying, the Himba, many different tribes in Africa. These people are Hamites, but the Bantus are a separate people from them. And we Bantus, we carry a Y chromosome DNA of E1B1A, okay? E1B1A. You see? Just to leave that right there with you guys, I'm going to make another video pertaining to something else. So I can cut this one short. All praises to the Most High. Um, glad, thank you for watching, guys. You know what I mean? I guess that's my first video. I made one before, I had to make a mistake, but I still posted it, and I had to do it all over again. <laughs> but it is what it is.